Thank you very much for being here and good afternoon. I'd like to take this time to clear up some of the questions that have been raised over the past 10 days or so and take full responsibility for my actions. At the outset, I'd like to make it clear that I have made terrible mistakes that have hurt the people I care about the most, and I'm deeply sorry. I have not been honest with myself, my family, my constituents, my friends, and supporters, and the media. Last Friday night, I tweeted a photograph of myself that I intended to send as a direct message as part of a joke to a woman in Seattle. Once I realized I had posted it to Twitter, I panicked. I took it down and said that I had been hacked. I then continued with that story to stick to that story, which was a hugely regrettable mistake. This woman was unwittingly dragged into this and bears absolutely no responsibility. I am so sorry to have disrupted her life in this way. To be clear, the picture was of me, and I sent it. I am deeply sorry for the pain this has caused my wife, Huma, and our family, and my constituents, my friends, supporters, and staff. In addition, over the past few years, I have engaged in several inappropriate conversations conducted over Twitter, Facebook, email, and occasionally on the phone with women I have met online. I have exchanged messages and photos of an explicit nature with about six women over the last three years. For the most part, these, these communications took place before my marriage, though some have sadly took place after. To be clear, I have never met any of these women or had physical relationships at any time. I haven't told the truth. And I've done things I deeply regret. I brought pain to people I care about the most and the people who believed in me. And for that, I'm deeply sorry. I apologize to my wife and our families, as well as to our friends and supporters. I am deeply ashamed of my terrible judgment and actions. And I'd be glad to take any questions that you might have. I came here to accept the full responsibility for what I've done. I, I am deeply regret regretting what I have done, and I am not resigning. I have made it clear that I accept responsibility for this, and people who draw conclusions about me are free to do so. I've worked for the people of my district for 13 years and in politics for 20 years, and I hope that they see fit to see this in the light that it is, which is a deeply regrettable mistake. I think it is in more inappropriate things that I have done since I'm married. My primary, my primary sense of regret and my primary apology goes to my wife. Um, I should not have done this. And I should not have done this, particularly when I was married. That's why I make that distinction. Why would you do this after you're married? You know it's wrong. The question people in the situation, a lot of us have is, what were you thinking? You know, I, I don't know what I was thinking. This was a destructive thing to do. I'm apologetic for doing it. It was deeply, deeply hurtful to the people I care about the most. Um, it was something that I did that was just wrong, and I regret it. I did not. You didn't use a congressional phone, congressional email, on congressional time? No, I, I, I didn't do. Listen, I'm, I'm going to try to tell you everything that I can remember. It was my BlackBerry is not a government BlackBerry. My home computer is usually where I, I, I did these things. Usually? I don't have a knowledge of every, of every last communication, but I don't believe that I used any government resources. No, I cannot. I regret not being honest about this. This was a big mistake to, to, 
I was embarrassed. I was humiliated. Um, I'm still to this moment. I was trying to protect my wife. I was trying to protect myself from shame. It was a mistake. And I really, and I really regret it. This, 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 was, this was a mistake, and I'm very sorry for it, and I take it seriously. But I, I am, and, and where I go from here and what steps I take, I, I take it seriously. That this was a destructive thing to do that I deeply regret. My, I love my wife very much. Are you going to split up? I love my wife very much, and we have no intention of splitting up over this. Okay, we no, have been through, right. we have been through a great deal together, and um, we will, we will weather this. I love her very much, and she loves me. These are generally, in some cases, I initiated them. They're generally women that I met on Facebook. Do you have anything to say to Andrew Breitbart? I'm deeply apologetic, first and foremost, to my wife, to the many people that put so much faith and confidence in me, that watched me make this terrible mistake. Um, but everyone that I misled, everyone in the media, my staff, the people that I that I lied to about this, they all deserve an apology. But after Chris Bragg, after Elliot Spitzer, why the decision to do such a thing, especially as a, as a member of public office? This was a very dumb thing to do, and it was a destructive thing to do, but it wasn't part of any plan to be hurtful to my wife. It wasn't part of a plan to be deceitful to you. It wasn't part of a plan to be... It wasn't part of a plan. It was a, a destructive thing that I did that I accept responsibility for. But if you're, if you're looking for some kind of deep explanation for it, I simply don't, don't have one, ex ex except, that I'm very, except that I'm sorry. I didn't think of it that way. From, I would think about, from time to time, I would say to myself, this is a mistake or this conversation someone could listen in on or, or translate in, and it was thought through and calculated. In this case, it was just me doing a very dumb thing, and for that, that I accept the responsibility. Yeah, sure. I didn't see any of the pictures that were, that were released today. I can tell you... Um, that there were some women that I had conversations with that, that the inappropriate things were sent by me, and I accept responsibility for that. But the last thing on this day when I have done this harm to my wife and my family, that I'm standing before all of you and accepting responsibility for this shameful thing is thinking about next year's election or the election after that. The first thing I need to do is make sure that, that obviously this never, ever happens again and that I make it up to my wife and to my family and to all the people that I've harmed here. Uh, I, I have not, you know, I'm going to try to ha handle this and, and I haven't ruled out perhaps seeing someone, but I'm not blaming anyone. This is not something that can be treated away. This is my own personal mistake. This is not something, this is a weakness, a deep weakness that I have demonstrated, and, and for that I apologize. You're not sure about the time that you sent these pictures? Some of these relationships, uh, some of date back is, I think, much. Um, almost from the moment that I, um, you know, when you say something like that that's so wrong, I was embarrassed, and I didn't want it to lead to other embarrassing things. And I did, I did a, uh, um, I it was a dumb thing to do, to, to try to tell lies about it because it just led to more lies. Um, but almost, but almost, almost immediately after I said the lie, I knew, knew that I was putting people in a, a very bad position, and I, I didn't want to continue doing it. Excuse me? Did any of these women ever ask you for anything in exchange for not going forward with 
No. Have you spoken to any women? Megan Prasad was one of the women. Um, when did you tell your wife? When did you tell your wife? My wife has known about some of these online relationships since before we were married, and we spoke frankly about them because, well, we spoke frankly about them. Um, but she didn't know until this morning that I had not been telling the truth about whether I posted the, the, the Twitter posting last week. What do you say to Andrew Breitbart, who was accused of hacking your account by many left-wing blogs, and people on CNN? What do you say to him? Well, I'm here primarily to express my apologies to my wife and family, but anyone who was misled, all of you who were misled, the people who I lied to, I have an apology for all of them. But not specifically for him, not an apology? I, look, if, if I, believe that, I, I'll, I believe that everyone deserves an apology here, and I certainly am, I'm, I'm, I'm certain, I'll be, here's what, Where is your wife right now? I apologize to Andrew Breitbart, I apologize to the many other members of the media that I misled. I apologize first and foremost to my, to my wife and to my family. Where is she right now? Where is she right now? She is not here. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? I don't have, that's no, I, I have a, I have a loving wife. I don't, it's not anything like that. I, tr I treat it, I treated it as a frivolous thing, not, not, not acknowledging that it was causing harm to so many people and would eventually come out. Yes, sir. I spoke briefly to Leader, Leader Pelosi before I came over here. She said, she said to, to, be, to be truthful and she said to, to, to say what you know and, and, and was thankful that I was doing that today. My, she was not happy, um, told me as much. She, um, my primary apology, as I've said several times, is to my wife, Huma, that she, that she loved me and, and, and wanted us to, 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 you know, to pull through this. I'm sorry, sir. I did a regrettable thing, and for that I apologize. You said you, you were on the phone. Did you have I've never, as I've said in my statement, I never met any of these women for their privacy, and since their names are coming out of characterizing our exchanges, except that they were consensual. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to rebut anything or dispute anything that any of the, the women that have come forward and said They have every right to do so. And uh, so I'm, I'm not going to make any, any efforts to characterize those, those conversations. Is your oath of office to, to do this while, you know, if you, you may not have used the congressional phone or congressional email, but to do it on congressional time as a congressman? Have you well, I guess, by, I, guess I mean, the congressional time could theoretically be anything. Congressmen were long hours, but I don't believe that I did anything here that violates any law or violates my oath to my constituents. What I did, what I did was something that demonstrated a very deep personal failing, and that's why I'm here to apologize. No, I've never... I've never had sex outside my marriage, and I, I've done these th things, um, and I and I, I regret them. But I don't. I've never. I've never never done anything. Never done anything that you described, and and I, I don't know where else to get it. I'm not making any excuses for my behavior. I don't, I don't do drugs. I, I was not drinking. That wasn't the cause of this. This was, this was me doing a dumb thing and doing it repeatedly and then lying about it. And that's all there is. I'm here to accept responsibility for this. I'm not, I'm not asking to shift the blame to anyone, to anyone else or to any external force or anything else. I did. I did. I apologize.
apologies for how she got dragged into this. No. But, uh, yes, yes, we, we, we had exchanged some perfunctory direct messages, but, but, but there wasn't, we had never spoken. I have not. And I just, look, my wife is a, my wife is a remarkable woman. She's not responsible for any of this. This was <clears throat> visited upon her. She's getting back, getting back to work. And, uh, and I apologize to her very deeply. People have to make that determination. I mean, I, I'm here to express my apologies. I'm here to take responsibility. Um, but, but, you know, beyond that, look, my constituents have to make the determination. If it's, it's up to them. If they believe that this is something that means that they don't want to vote for me, I'm going to work very hard to, to, to win back their trust and to try to persuade them that this is a personal failing of mine, that I've worked very hard for my constituents for a very long time, very long hours. I'm sorry, sir. I'll leave that for people to I certainly use bad judgment here, that's for sure. And if someone wants to draw that conclusion, I can't stop them. I'm here to accept responsibility for some very bad decisions. These were young girls, very young, at 21 years old. That's, does that bother you? That the, the young I, don't know the, I, I don't know the exact ages of, of the women, and they... I don't know the exact ages of, of the women, and I don't know if, if, if you do. I'm going to respect their, their privacy, but they're all adults. At least, to the best of my knowledge, they were all adults, and they were in, and they were engaging, and they were engaging in these conversations consensually. But if you don't know how old they are, how do you know they're adults? Well, all I know is what they publish about themselves in social media. Uh, someone could theoretically be have have been have been fibbing about it, and and and, and, and that's a risk. No. No. Look, this, this, I wasn't telling the truth. I had done something that was dishonorable. I had lied. I, I don't begrudge anyone for not leaping to my defense um, in, that, in that circumstance. Uh, this was, you know, I don't, this isn't anyone else's fault. This isn't anyone else didn't, didn't demonstrate their, their bad judgment or their mistakes. This was me. I did it, and I, I take responsibility for that, and I'm not looking to, to point blame or, or share responsibility with anyone. So what's Well, I'm going to go back to work and I'm going to try to convince them that this was a, a personal failing that is an aberration from which I've learned. Um, and all I can do is just keep doing what I've done, which is work very hard every day. Um, there wasn't anything about this I would, would say that changes my ability or my, my record of getting bills passed or filling potholes or fulfilling community service. This was a personal failing, and I hope that they see it that way. And, and I don't begrudge them. If they see it as such a personal failing, they wouldn't vote for me. I, I, that's, that's, that's their decision, and I'm, I'm going to have to work very hard. Can you explain, can you explain what? Congressman, members of Democratic leadership called on Mark Foley and called on Chris Lee to resign. Do you see any hypocrisy in the fact that he's not been called on to resign? Do you see any distinction between their two situations and yours? Well, I, I don't want to get into anyone else's situation, but I can tell you about mine, and, and, and it's one that, I, that I, I regret that didn't have to do with my government service, per se, and had to do with a personal weakness. But, you know, people can draw their, their own conclusions about that. But I'm not resigning, and, and I'm going to try very hard to go back to work a better person and a better man, and I'm going to try to be a, a, better, a better husband, too. Can you explain what led to today? She was very unhappy. She was very disappointed, and she told me as much. And she also said that she loved me um, and said we were going to get through this, but she deserves much better than this, and I know that. Can you explain what led to today? Why here? Why come out now and say it? What was the process leading up to now? Well, it, look, my, my primary concern about, that, about the entire incident to begin with was my concern about some of these relationships that I had becoming public. 
And it seems that what I had done by denying the original action had only served to make things worse and only served to lead to, to people being asked longer, tougher questions. It is really true that, that you know, that, that the, the, the smarter, better thing to do would just be to tell the truth and, and, and let, let the, the chips fall where they may, even if they came, came to this place. And that was, that was a mistake, and that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm going to, I'll leave it to someone else. I mean, all I can do is it was, a, 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 you know, a, um, almost a, a frivolous exchange among friends that I don't, don't think I made an important enough distinction about how, how hurtful it was and how inappropriate it was. And I, and I, and I, and I certainly do. Social media is a realm where, you know, certitude, as you say, um, is, is not... Um, is not something um, that is uh, that you can rely on. How do you know that these uh, women are not underage, or you know these women are not um, truthful about their own self? I, I, you know, I of course no one ever knows that, but I, I know that I never had any intention of having any interaction with underage women, and, and no information that I have now shows that 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 I did. But yes, whenever you engage with anyone, and that's true of that's always true in social media that you're relying upon their characterizations. And I, I took them at those characterizations. Look, I am sorry, and I continue to be, but I don't see anything that I did that violated any rules of the House. I don't see anything that I did that certainly violated my oath of office to uphold the Constitution. I engaged in inappropriate online conversations with people that included, you know, photographs and. And it was a mistake to do that, but I didn't. I don't believe that I did anything that violates any law or any rule. I didn't. No, I didn't have the sense that they were complete strangers. These were people that I had developed relationships with online, and and I I, I believe that we had we had become. We had become friends, but that that was that was that was clearly a mistake, and and I and, and I and I, I clearly regret that. Yes. Yes. No, we we had. I mean, I didn't. I don't know her, and I I still don't don't really know her. She was a, a follower who, um, who, who we had cursory direct message. I just want to make it. Very clear of all the, you know, there are a long list of people that I harmed here, but this poor woman who is, was one of them as well, and I deeply regret that she got dragged into it. No, I, I suggest that, not that people stop engaging with their constituents via social media, but not do dumb things like this that are dishonest to their families, that are deceitful to the press when they're asked about them, uh, to not do things like this. There's nothing inherently wrong with social media. There's nothing inherently wrong with social media. At no time did, did I or any member of my staff try to do anything to cover anything up. She did reach out to me. And express ex, express what how she she'd been set upon, and and I expressed my apologies to her, um, but there was no coaching of any sort uh, going on, um, and it was it was basically me saying what I've said here today, which is how deeply sorry I am for okay, what happened. No, my staff has never had any. I only heard the, the the full story kind of late this afternoon as I was getting ready to come up to come over here. They are, and they've worked extraordinary. They're another group of people that I have let down, and but they they knew nothing, and I, I deeply regret putting them into the circumstance of having to defend me when when I knew myself. Of yours. Of yours. Was there anything predatory about your behavior? Yeah. Look, I. I, the, the, the women that I have um, been in contact with without 
you know, without violating their privacy. They're not, they're not uniformly young women. I don't know th their ages, um, but the, the people that I've had these engagements with on, on Facebook are, 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 not, are, 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 not, are not young, per se. Did they tell you that they were on the line for more than a week trying to cover up, blaming other people, constitutes a violation of your oath of I, I am deeply sorry for, that I lied about this, but at the end of the day, I lied because I was embarrassed. I, uh, I lied because I was ashamed of what I had done and didn't want to get caught. Um, but my, did I violate the Constitution of the United States by, by lying about posting a Twitter post? I certainly don't think so, and I haven't spoken to anyone who did. But if people want to say that this is a violation of my oath, because I, I sent a, a, a Twitter that I regretted and I lied about it, and um, obviously they are, they are, people are entitled to that viewpoint. Yes, ma'am. Did you promise anything to these women? I, 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 I don't believe I'll use it the same, the same way, that's for sure. Um, and I deeply regret the way I've used it to date. But for, for my use of Twitter, I mean, it's not... It's, it's, it's something that I found useful, and Facebook is a way to get out the, the message, but I, I, I certainly wouldn't obviously do the things that I have done that, that led me, that, that led me, that led me to this place. Of course. Of course. Of course I would. Of course I would. No, I did not. I did not. Will you help to support our love child? Yes. They were inappropriate. They were part of a of consensual, you know, exchanges of, of emails, and I don't want to violate the privacy of the, the the women who were involved. But it was clearly a mistake and one that I deeply regret. Thank you.